The U.S. has released images it says back claims the Russian military has been firing rockets at Ukrainian territory. Now, these pictures, courtesy of the State Department, claim to show the impact of multiple rocket launchers fired over the border from Russia and aimed at Ukrainian military units. The images have been widely distributed on social networks and in the media. However, no U.S. official has commented on the issue thus far, and the exact source of the data is not clear. Let's bring in Paul Craig Roberts, columnist and the head of the Institute for Political Economy. Thank you for speaking to us today. Now, to a non-expert like myself, there doesn't seem to be much actually going on in these pictures, just some military installations, some ROs. Do they actually prove anything? No. Moreover, I can say, as a former high government official, a former editor of the Wall Street Journal, I can state with complete confidence that information this important would not be released in this way. I also see that it was released at 8.45 a.m. on a Sunday morning. This is a complete dead time in news. Uh, many American cities aren't even up yet. San Francisco, uh, <clears throat> Los Angeles, Seattle, uh, it's still early hours in the morning. So uh, if this was released by the State Department, which I doubt, it's so unprofessional, uh, it would mean that the State Department is trying to spread propaganda about Russia on social media. Now, the way this type of information would be released, if it was real, would be at a press conference with high-level government officials addressing the bureau chiefs of the major news organizations. And it would be held in Washington by uh, very high officials. And there would be experts explaining the meaning of the photographs and attesting to their validity. Well, let it me just jump in there really quickly, because I just want to, on that point that you're saying, because the images come from a newsletter distributed by the State Department. There's been no official announcement, as you said. Why do you believe that is, the differences there? Well, I, I'm not even sure the State Department sent this email, because it's an unprofessional way to release important information. And so that makes me believe the information is fake. No, the United States government has been um, desperate to produce information to back up its claims. It would not release the information in this way. Social media has no credibility. Anybody can spread propaganda on social media. This information, if it's true, would have been released by important government officials at a press conference in the presence of the journalists. That's the only way information this important would ever be released. Now, just on that social media, the State Department's Twitter feed actually says, follow Jeffrey Pyatt, who is the U.S. ambassador in Kiev, for new images of evidence of Russia firing into Ukraine. That is a, a quote. But is it really the role of a diplomat to be getting involved in accusations like that? No. No, I think what the real issue here is, is not the photographs. It's the fact that someone is conducting propaganda against Russia, misrepresenting the truth, and is content to spread propaganda via social media. The U.S. government, if it had this information, would not spread it in that way. They would use a very credible way of presenting this information. This is the least credible way of preventing, of presenting important information. So I don't think the information has any credibility. It's not believable. And uh, even the, I have the email here in front of me, and it says it was released by the State Department at 8.45 in the morning on a Sunday. <laughs> this is not possible. They would have a, they would want it out in a very important news time. <clears throat> Moreover, as I have to repeat myself, this kind of information would only be released in an important press conference. Okay. Paul Craig Roberts, columnist and head of the Institute for Political Economy, we thank you for your time, sir.